Would you like to go, ma'am? Well, where I'd like to go, you couldn't possibly take me. Try me. I like a challenge. OK. Take me to a beautiful rainforest where there are parrots of every size and every color. I know just the place. Hop in, ma'am. Drive on, Jeeves, and don't spare the horses. Here we are, ma'am. Well, I don't see a beautiful rainforest. But over there, you'll see birds of every size and every color. Just follow the path. Well, thank you. You know, I hope he's right, because this feels a little bit like the Wizard of Oz. Follow the path, indeed. So it looks like he was right. He's brought us to Parrots in the Park. It is actually Orlando's own little rainforest right here in downtown Orlando. Let's go and check it out. Jay, how you doing? I'm doing good, Corey. It's good to see you. Well, of course they know me. I actually started the Parrots in the Park group to help owners meet other bird owners, but mainly for the birds themselves. Parrots are not solitary creatures and need to socialize with other birds. Here they have fun, meet new friends, and are among people who are experienced handlers. So let's chat with a few of them. I get so much information here from other bird owners, just simple things that you don't think to do. and. Without the help of a behaviorist, I'm not sure as I would be this far, but I think I was always meant to be this way. I, I think I, it's a good match. Oh, okay. To describe this thing here, it, it's just nice. It's outside. The birds are able to be out in, a, in, a, um, in the natural environment. Uh, it's, it's social. It's fun. It's kind of like going to the zoo or going to the park or going going anywhere but you get to share your, your the rest of your family that you normally would leave at home because pets aren't allowed. I, I think it's fantastic. It's really great. There's just I don't can't think of another kind of event that could take place that would be more edifying for birds and their owners. Now, the enjoyment you and your bird can have by interacting with people and other birds is an obvious one, as you can see here in Parrots in the Park. But before you bring your bird to a group like this, there are things you need to do to prepare your bird to keep it safe. Now, socialising a bird should have been started from the early age. But if you have a bird that is not used to other people or is not used to going outdoors, it is best to start taking a bird out with you on short trips in a carrier. This can either be a porter carrier or one of these birdie carriers. They are the best way to start exposing your bird to the great outdoors, whilst giving him a sense of security. Now, if your bird is already quite socialized and used to going places with you, I really like these harnesses. It may take a little time for your bird to get used to wearing one and for you to put it on, but they really do give peace of mind to the owner. So no matter what noise or scary motion happens that may cause your bird to fly off your hand or off your shoulder, you have him securely. You may be able to control your bird, but you cannot control the environment around you. Now remember, please double check flight feathers before you take your birds outside. It doesn't take that many feathers to grow back in before these guys can get themselves into danger. Danger, I mean, enough to get them fly up a tree or perhaps to flutter across a fence into a neighbor's yard where there may be a dog. Now these guys, when they feel danger, they freeze. So wherever they go, they're going to stay put. They're not very good at coming down, flying down from trees or flying back to you. So you've got to retrieve them in time before a predator gets hold of them. So please double check your flight feathers. But for now, that's all for me because I've got to fly.